All right, here we are for another Road to TI-7 pubcast. We've got the Overextenders versus the Radiant. Take a look at the team here. We've got Baroki on the Marana. On the Clinks, we've got Weirical. Uh, on this Doom, we've got CB Neo. Marshall on this Zeus. And Asperger on the Bounty Hunter. On the opposite side here, we do have... Alias Pogi on the Ancient Apparition. Liha, or something like that, on the Spectre. Huu on the Shadow Fiend. Ice in my veins on the Magnus. And Bestbrook on that Dazzle. So, right on early. Looks like we've got CB Neo and we were go heading towards this top bounty rune. Asperger sitting in the Roche pick and that shadow walk back up. Uh, might be able to grab themselves both bounty runes here. Marshall taking a little bit of harass from Beastbrook. With three here from the side of the radiant. Marshall might be in a little bit of trouble here. It is Asperger doing a little bit of damage, but Marshall will fall here to the ancient apparition. So the bounty rune picked up, but. Is it really worth it to give up first blood, especially to an Ancient Apparition who, with an early level 6, could do a lot with the team fight? So we see how these lanes are starting to pick up. It is Asperger just roaming around a bit. Beastbrook here with Pogi and the Spectre in this bottom lane. And CB Neo is making his way into this off lane as Doom in the middle lane. We've got Marshall on this Zeus, and then up top it's Baroki and Weirical. With Clinks and Marana against Ice in My Veins on the Magnus. So lane's pretty set up here. Two in this top lane for the Overextenders. Two in the bottom lane, this Bounty and Doom here. And then in the mid lane, it is Marshall. Asperger, he's going to have a bit of trouble in this bottom lane considering it's a tri lane and the two supports do hit pretty hard. Which leaves CB Neo to try and get a little bit of farm here as he can. Might have to back up towards this jungle camp right here to try and get himself a little bit of farm some levels early on. But being by himself in lane mostly, he should be able to get those levels early on. Have the doom up early and in team fights be able to do something here. If we take a look up top, 6-1 is Weirical. He's doing all right. It's about 500 gold. The early Gloves of Haste might be heading towards the Midas. We'll see how fast he can farm towards that Midas. If he gets it pre-8 minutes, it should be pretty good here for him. But even getting it around 10 minutes, he should be able to still do some work. Grab, grab himself some levels, grab himself some gold, and he'll be on his way to starting to lead the net worth. In this mid lane, it is Asperger going down early on. They're feeding the Shadow Fiend, and with those souls going his way, Marshall might have a little bit more trouble. As for wards, it does not seem like there's much vision here. And it's actually different on the minimap, as they are just dots now. Seems to have changed. So in that mid lane, we do see Marshall get that kill on Shadow Fiend. A little slow on the cam work by me. But a little more focus from me, and I'll have every single kill getting uh, picked up on camera, hopefully. We take a look down low. Marshall looking at this bounty rune, but trying to wait for that bottle. He's going to get the Flying Courier to come in. Heal himself up and then pick up this bounty room. But now Beastbrook does come his way. Does get the slow there. And now he might be in a little bit of trouble as Pogi's hitting away at him. Has the cold feet on Marshall. A couple more hits. He's getting slowed up even more. Beastbrook might dive here. And Pogi hitting one more time. This bottle keeping him alive. But Beastbrook continuing to dive here. Pogi trying to do all he can. And they will dive this tier one. Without being under vision from that tower. And get themselves another kill. So Marshall going down. Take a look at this fight recap, and it's a bit of gold going the way of Pogi. 
And that's going to be even more of an issue here. He's already about to be level 3. He'll most likely have that level 6 coming his way around 8 minutes if it stays this way. So Asperger moving forward, trying to keep vision on this Shadow Fiend. He's just going to bottle up, heal himself up, and grab this bounty room you all up top. It will be Marshall grabbing the regen and not dying for his sins this time. CBNEO doing okay. He's sitting at 13 and 0, getting about 1,200 gold his way. Might be saving up for a Midas himself. He's going to devour the catapult get himself some gold and coming up pretty well by himself already level five close to that level six doom Asperger is here he's gonna try and soak up some experience and just sit tight and now just an observer ward coming out here might not have been the right thing there's that sentry now Asperger in a little bit of trouble the cold feet comes and he's gonna get really low and get popped up Real fast here by the aggressive trialing that's going on right now. And now CB Neo might be in a bit of trouble himself. So he tries to stun up the Spectre. And now he's backing up. And Pogi has himself another kill. Diving pretty deep here is this Shadow Fiend. And one hit away. And Baroki will be here to clean up on this Shadow Fiend. Oh, actually misses the arrow. And still gets the kill. But Marshall does fall mid. So a bunch of kills going his going their way for the side of the Radiant and Overextenders will be far behind to start this game off. Meanwhile in the top lane, 26 and 7 is Weiracle, so he's gonna try and keep his farm up and keep his team in this. And now charging forward is Ice in my veins. Weiracle a little low here. Very close to dying this Magnus who tries to use that skewer to get forward and the shockwave to hit Weiracle. He's going to plant that ironwood branch and eat it with the tango to keep himself in lane. So we take a look at level 5 Baroki. Probably looking for an arrow here. We'll see Beastbrook but it's just going to whiff and find its way through. So Asperger moving forward. The Scorched Earth on CB Neo. And not much here with the 3-on-3 three three in this lane. With the Janata hit at the Spectre. Asperger getting a little too far forward here. Yeah, he's going to get slowed up, but use that Shadow Walk and won't be under Sentry Ward Vision this time. Radiant will use a Sentry of their own to take out Overextender Sentry and have this Vision on Asperger's. Asperger even more. So we go with this early Midas. He's going to push himself forward just about level 7 here. We take a look over at Ice in My Veins. He's almost level 7 as well, so they've been trading back and forth. The farm a little better here on the Clinks, and with that Midas, he will move forward that much more from this Magnus in level and gold. Take a look in the middle lane. Only 19 and 1 is Marshall, and he's already died three times, so he's stuck with that Null Talisman and that bottle. He finds himself behind in this mid lane, and he's pretty far behind overall in the net worth. So, Beastbrook pushing forward, Poison Touch there. It is the cold feet on CB Neo, but he will take it off by moving far enough away from that center point. Now Asperger looks forward on Pogi. Now he's under Sentry Ward Vision, pushing him further. And continuing to overextend here, it is cold feet once more, and he will survive with just about 17 health. And while that's happening, Marshall falls again in that mid lane. So four deaths already for the mid Zeus, and that's going to put him way behind this set, this Shadow Fiend, who saved himself up 1,600 gold here, has Bottle, has Boots, and Wraith Band. Excuse me, and already three and two. So ice in my veins, sitting very patiently here with the two fairy fires, bottle and treads. Meanwhile, Lyrical does have Midas. Probably be getting boots next. So Baroki still yet to really do anything too far forward with the arrow. And now the TPs do fly from the overextenders. Asperger moving forward. The three from the side of the radiant will just back up. 
find their way into safety. A little help from Marshall. They do take out this sentry ward. They will try to take out the observer as well. They do clean it up here. So more vision coming out from the Radiant. They've been doing a pretty good job here with their vision overall. They're 7 to 2 right now. So vision been helping them out quite a bit. Getting themselves the kills on the mid Zeus and on Asperger on this bounty hunter. Asperger finds ice in my veins. Just going to give a little Janata attack on him. And really nothing more. He's going to keep the vision. TP comes in as CB Neo getting pushed back towards base. It is the Shadow Fiend moving forward. He has an early boots of travel. Now they get the cold feet on him. He's staying still here. It is the Moonlight Shadow, but it's not enough as the ult flies from Shadow Fiend and grabs himself the kill anyway. As CB Neo had frozen over from that cold feet. So now they're already pushing the tier 2 here. Meanwhile, in this mid lane, Marshall and Baroki trying to push the tier 1, but really not doing any damage. And now it's Weirical trying to push on Ice in my veins. They will get one more hit. It's actually the Zeus who's going to grab the kill with his ult. So something finally going their way, and it will be Marshall grabbing himself a bit of gold here. Meanwhile, the rating continue to push this tier 2 already at about half health. Maybe looking to get an arrow here to start off the exchange. Beastbrook moving forward. The arrow is going to hit this Shadow Fiend, but not really much they could do off this. Marshall is here. They're going to do a lot of damage here to the Spectre. Going to get doomed up. They're going to chase him down. And the Spectre is going to try and kill himself here and leave his team some space being the sacrifice. But the Shadow Grave does come out. It's really not going to do anything to the Spectre. Here comes Ice in your veins. He does have the RP. Baroque Lyrical and CB Neo all go down to the Shadow Fiend. Asperger now the next one to move forward he will avoid the ice blast but ice in my veins will get the kill and four fall for the side of overextenders Extenders overextending here, and uh, they lose four for it. And now it looks as though the Radiant, besides wanting to shit talk quite a bit, they doing a really good job here. They're already up five thousand gold. They've pushed this tier two here down in this bottom lane, and. Doing a good job at keeping the vision up and destroying the overextenders who need to be invisible. The bounty and the clinks. It's a great play there by Ice in My Veins. Getting that really nice RP on three. Followed up by Shadow Fiend's raises and really just securing the kills. So now it looks like CB Neo and Weirical have moved into the jungle here as they are really not that safe in lane. They're down by a lot of experience, only 2,000, but it's a bit of an advantage here at 12 minutes, enough to really start doing something. And now Weirical starts hitting him away at the Shadow Fiend and he backs up for some reason as it looked like he was going to win that battle. So Shadow Fiend actually just going to TP out. Now CB Neo is here, gets the mini stun. He does have Doom up if they want to go on this, and the Spectre will get Doomed, and now they're going to dive under tower. The ulti flies from Zeus. CB Neo finds himself another kill. So 12 to 6 here, 13 minutes in. And Overextender is trying to extend what they can towards getting this net worth back to even. Oh, why'd they have to die? 
and we see Asperger get a courier kill here, and Radiant will be without a courier for three minutes. Now, Peacebrook might be in a bit of trouble. Actually, Marshall might be the one in a bit of trouble. He does avoid that Ice Blast, gets out of the cold feet. And will find his way out, so runs into two deadly supports there. But just happens to walk his way out. So Midas finally finished here, 14 minutes in on CB Neo. And Arrow gonna miss on both, on everybody on the side of Radiant. And the shit talk continues from the Radiant. So Lyrical Baroki and CB Neo are here. Doom is down though, and so is Moonlight Shadow. So they're gonna look on the Radiant side to grab this top tier one and it shouldn't be too hard with the big ulties down. Miracle moving forward. Ray's does come. Hits Asperger. And now he'll get Poison Touch. No vision. But he'll definitely have to back up. So Track is here. And if it's the one saving grace that is from Asperger right now, it's the Track Gold. Try and bring his team back into this game. So four staff soon to follow here. And now Beastbrook getting really low here. The RP follows. Baroki goes down. So does Asperger. But it is going to be Beastbrook falling as well. CB Neo will fall here from the raises of the Shadow Fiend. And now off a double kill. He'll continue to push this tower and try and get a kill. Doom is on ice in my veins, but a little too late here as he already got the RP off with the Skewer and the Shockwave, so really not effective. Marshall I'm going to try and defend, but not really doing too much. Oh, we take a look at this Spectre who's working towards this Radiance, only 600 gold away from that Sacred Relic. And Radiance is going to make this even more difficult for the side of Overextenders. Miracle getting hit up here. It is the Ice Blast. And we take another look at the net worth. It's only 4,000 for the Radiant. We thought it might jump up that much more. But with the track gold and the amount of kills they've pushed back here, it looks like Overextenders have found them found their way back in it. Desolator picked up on Miracle here 17 minutes in. Doing a pretty good job. Has that Midas and has been farming a lot of damage. He will find himself a kill with that Shuriken, but died a tower. And it's actually Shadow Fiend who gets credit for the kill. Now 17 to 10. We take another look at the net worth. It's only 4,000 for the rating. We thought it might jump up that much more. But with the track gold and the amount of kills they've pushed back here, it looks like overextenders have found them found their way back in it. Desolator picked up on Miracle here 17 minutes in. Doing a pretty good job. Has that Midas and has been farming pretty well here. So Lyrical gonna try and push out some lanes, maybe get his team some towers here. He could get a couple pickoffs here. He might want to find his way toward an Orchid next. That can definitely help him get some pickoffs. Now Ice in my veins a little far forward, but the Spectre is there. And now Lyrical gonna hit away at him. The ulti flies from Zeus, and he will get a kill with that Desolator. So now he works away at the Spectre, who's getting hit up hard. One more hit, the arrow misses, but Baroki will clean it up. So they do get the Spectre, they get the Magnus as well, and Overextenders are starting to push back in. Deep Ward put here by Pogi. Let's see out this jungle, which CB Neo has been working uh, a lot in. So now the Courier dies once more on the Radiant side. Another Courier kill from Asperger. CB Neo here with Midas, Ready, and Doom. Looking to defend this tier 2 top, but nobody coming in just yet as they're pushing the tier 1 bottom. So 
We're gonna take this tier one bottom, maybe TP in. Here comes the TV, TP in by Weirko, and there's the Shadow Fiend. Looking for that ulti, does pop it up. Weirko in a bit of trouble. He's gonna back off. Meanwhile, Pogi does get himself a kill on CB Neo. Now Marshall is here. They're gonna try and get themselves the kill. Pogi goes down first. Here's the Shadow Fiend. He's got a lot of health left and takes down Marshall. So now the Zeus is dead along with the Bounty Hunter and Doom. And Weirko looking for a kill on the Shadow Fiend. Does find a couple hits, but not enough. The lead from Beastbrook getting hit up hard. He will fall. Now Spectre trying to finish off this kill, but Baroki is here. And now Weirko might think about going back in, but with that weave on him, he's just going to back up. Finishes off an early Crystal is here. So he's getting a lot of farm. We take a look at the net worth, a 10,300 net worth early on in this game. Looks like Shadow Fiend is a little bit in front. Has a Blink Dagger, Boots Travel, SNY, Wraith Band, Bottle, and Wand. So he's doing pretty well and 1600 gold on top of that. He'll be working towards his next big item. Oh, Asperger gonna look for maybe just the track here. Does hit the Janata. That's really risky. But does put the track on too. So now it looks like Shadow Fiend might have to be a little bit careful here as Weirical does have his position. And with that Desolator and Crystalis, it's really open season for him. CB Neo is seen in this jungle, and they're going to try and work their way there. The Skewer on Baroque, he's going to push him back. Cold Feet on Weirko, he's going to avoid that Ice Blast. Here comes the arrow, not going to hit on anybody. So they just disengage, and the four from the Radiant just continue to push. Sentry placed there by Beastbrook and an Observer Ward there as well. They do spot out Weirko and now the Sentry is there. He's actually in between both now. He's spotted up top. He will get pinged out. And there's the Weave. It's on a bunch. Another RP on three. Oh man, Tazzle getting himself a triple kill. Oh baby. Dazzle with a huge triple kill there, getting the weave. The RP comes in from ice in my veins, and free get cleaned up just like that. Pogi gonna get hit up hard here, healed up by Beastbrook. Now Shadow Fiend a little too far forward. He's getting cleaned up by Wiracle. Now slowed up. Now it looks like the Shadow Fiend will look for more. He is Shadow Graves here. The Ice Blast. Oh, just avoided by Wiracle. Comes the TP in from Asperger. Looking for something. Does get the track. But really not much more to follow. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Asperger does have vision. He's keeping an eye out. There comes the track. And Asperger is actually going to get popped by Zeus. Did I say Asperger? I meant Shadow. So the Doom comes out on Pogi. They're going to try and get themselves a kill. They will confirm it pretty quickly. The Weave does come out on Asperger on CB Neo. And now Beastbrook moving towards this Roche. But he will just Shadow Grave and TP out. And then meanwhile, Wiracle doing some work grabs himself Spectre. So Spectre, who is farming really well, does... Does have the sacred relic, but that close to a radiance just gets uh, pushed back that much more. So, after a pretty sketchy early game here from the overextenders, they're back in it and about even on this net worth and lead in the experience. Some money in the bank here with the towers and seems to be leaning in their direction now. The TP is in here from Shadow Fiend. He'll look forward, gets those raises out. Lyrico making his way over. And Pogi TPing forward. 
Working towards that axe is about 1,500 gold away from it. That'll start to make things a little harder. He hasn't been uh, too efficient with those ice blasts. He's been missing a bunch of them, but if he hits it with that axe, it will become an issue for overextenders. Yurko going to try and take this tier 1 top, but Pokey is there with the Spectre hiding in this... Uh, jungle but they're not gonna move in and Weirical will take this tier one top not enough mana for that skeleton walk so we won't be able to go invisible for a little while so he might be in a bit of trouble if he does get picked off. The ward is there. They are going to spot him out. Now they're going to start heading his way. He just gets enough mana, and he will get himself out with the invisibility. Meanwhile, this mid lane, Marshall, CD Neo, and Asperger are here. Guardian Greaves finally finished here on this bounty hunter. And at 2, 7, and 8, he does have the gold because of track kills. Around from the side is Ice in My Veins. Marshall and Asperger are there. But Ice in My Veins will just back up and avoid any confrontation right now, considering his team was nowhere close. Dato is 25 minutes in here for Weirical. He's farming like a beast, and with the track gold, it's pushed him into a Daedalus Deso, Power Treads, Midas, Cilius, and TP. So he's farmed really well here. He's got to be the one hitting hardest right now. Trying to negate that is the Shadow Fiend working on a butterfly. So things have slowed down a bit. Not as many fights happening right now. Asperger just looking for some vision. Marshall trying to clean up some vision. And Baroki. With that Diffusal Blade always looking to take away some mana and hit an arrow or two. So Track comes out on Beastbrook. Nothing to follow. Here comes the arrow going far. Ooh, almost hits that Magnus. Another sentry placed in this mid lane. They're really doing well with this uh, vision overall. And now the Track comes out. Ice in my veins is invisible. Nobody to spot him out. Asperger does have his invisibility, but the RP is used for just him. So he's there. The dust gets used. Blast use as well, and now it's gonna be Pogi hit by an arrow. Asperger moving back, and now the lightning strike comes out on Vainz. The ulti getting channeled by the Shadow Fiend, who will hit it off. CB Neo will go down. It's a double kill right there for the Shadow Fiend, who does get both Asperger and CB Neo. So now they push forward on this. Doomed up his ice in my veins, but he's already popped his ulti, so it's not a big deal. Now he gets hit by arrow. He'll be okay. Instead of that butterfly coming out, it is an E-Blade for the Shadow Fiend. And the rest of his team will continue to push this Tier 3 as he backs up to try and stop this push from Weirical. Haunt gets used here with that Radiance. Will do quite a bit. And pushed real far and real deep here is the Spectre in a bit of trouble. Marshall going to use that ulti, popping Beastbrook. And now the arrow flies and lands on this Spectre. So Spectre grabs a kill on Marshall, but then the Marana Baroki grabs himself a kill on the Spectre. So a little far in there for Spectre and pays for it with his life. Burger here will find the track, does throw the shuriken, now trying to do more. The track's there, so it's really not going to do much with that Shadow Blade, the TP out. And with no shuriken, the TP won't be stopped here by Asperger. So we're 30 minutes in, just about. We take a look at the net worth, a thousand in the lead of overextenders, and the XP just about even here. So both teams... Pretty even net worth lead is on the Shadow Fiend who has himself an E-Blade, Boots Travel, S&Y, Blink, Bottle, Wand. 
And then next up is your Clink's Wiracle, who has 2,500 gold saved up. Daedalus, Desolator, Midas, Basilius, and Tread. So he's going to be the one hitting a bit harder right now. He's really the one this team should fear. He's already level 19. Radiance comes out here for CB Neo. Arrow thrown. Oh, just TPing out is this Shadow Queen. He's going to use that ulti hit up on Miracle. He's getting hit up hard here. Ice Blast nowhere near the mark, and he's trying to get out. And Miracle will find his end here to the Spectre. Five here to push from the Radiant side. Now looking to clear up this half health tier three. So Eboy comes out on Asperger. He's trying to run away. Here comes the arrow. The Doom as well from CB Neo. Now the Shadow Grave to keep him alive. The Weave hits on two, and now CB Neo will fall. It will be him to fall and Baroki, but the Shadow Fiend does fall. Marshall alive with that Moonlight Shadow for the time being. It's just Asperger and Marshall. They do only take out this Shadow Fiend, but they do flip up the tier three, and now they back up on the side of the Radiant because they're having trouble with Marshall. So going down is Asperger. Huge shuriken flying on all those tracked heroes. So Asperger getting himself a kill on two heroes, splitting the second one. So the track shuriken proving itself. And Asperger doing a whole bunch of damage, pushing back that tier three siege. Wiracle may find out Spectre here, who is all alone, lower than half health. Wiracle taking a little bit of Radiance damage here, and now just blasts him down. He gets himself a kill and 536 gold. So four dead on the side of the Radiant over Extenders. After those fights, still even in the XP, and still have the lead here in net worth. Fiend still leads here, 2,800 gold. The e boy doing quite a bit for him. But later on, I don't know if it's going to be as effective here. Miracle, 4,000 gold. Looking towards a huge item, saving up quite a bit. Does have enough for buyback and more. Now the Diffusal also on this Spectre. So Spectre is going to be hitting a lot with that Radiance. With the Diffusal Blade with the Haunt combined. This might cause some issues with Overextenders. And now the Sentry Ward gets placed. We're going a little too far forward. The dust it up here. He's got to find his way out. The RP used by Ice and Mike Bane followed up by that Ice Blast. And he'll be blown up by this Radiant side. Not before he buys out and gets himself a full BKB, though. Here comes the E-Blade. Marshall getting hit. Avoids the raise with that four staff. Now he's trying to run away. He uses the Veil on the Shadow Fiend. Marshall in a bit of trouble. And just throws his ult before he dies. So, mecked up is the Radiant side, and they'll continue to siege for this Tier 3 once more. Arrow thrown, and just a creep. Brokey still trying to do something a little far forward here as the E-Boy does come out. The Doom used by CB Neo on this Shadow Fiend, but not much to follow up. They take the Tier 3, and they might back up after this. Oh. But with two down here, they are trying to take Rax. The arrow does hit on this Spectre, but still not much damage to follow without Weiracle. E-Blade again on Hasperger. Here comes the ulti from the Shadow Fiend, and it will hit. 
Asperger's gonna be too far forward and get hit by that Ice Blast. Meanwhile, the Shadow Beam will pop, as will CB Neo. So Doom buying back into the game, and with those melee racks gone, they're gonna try and back up here on the Radiant, but Beastbrook will fall first. The fourth step forward is Marshall gets the Veil on the Spectre. Double kill for Baroki right now, and Ice in my veins, and everybody on the Radiant might be a little too far forward, and now it's Weiracle, who doesn't have a gem just yet, but will find the Spectre. Ice in my veins is there, so is the Courier. And now in the way here is Weiracle. One more hit after this, won't get it, but he will use the... The invisibility and move speed of, of Skeleton Walk. Forgetting the ability name right there is myself. And Weiracle grabbing the kill on that Spectre. So Ice Blast comes out on two. Weiracle is going to be able to survive through this most likely. It is actually an axed Ice Blast. So it might be in a bit of trouble. Here comes the RP from Ice in my veins. They do bring down Weiracle. And now Baroki will fall as well. As Magnus does a lot of damage, Marshall grabs himself a kill on Ancient Apparition and on this Magnus. So it's a two for two trade, but all five down here for the Radiant side. So another big trade for both sides. Quick pause here, and now we'll take a look at everybody's items, seeing as we have a moment. It is now Butterfly finally getting built for this Shadow Fiend. Has the E-Blade Boots Travel, SNY, Bottle Blink, and then for this Ancient Apparition, it's just Ags and Arcane Boots. On the Dazzle, we do have a Ghost Scepter, Mech, Arcane Boots, Bracer, and TP's 3 and 2 here. Probably going to end up getting those Guardian Greaves a little later on. Shadow Blade, Crystalis, Mask of Madness, Armlet... <laughs> Treads and TPs here for the Magnus, and on on here for the Spectre is that Diffusal Blade Radiance combo with the Wand, with the Treads, Quelling Blade, and TP for himself. So the Unpause coming from the Dazzle. There is one disconnected here. We take a look over at Overextenders now, who... Lyrical does have this Midas, BKB, Daedalus, Desolator, Treads, and Basilius. Look over at Marshall, who has the Four Staff, Veil, Aether Lens, Arcane Boots, Bottle, and TP. Baroki It's going to have Diffusal Blade, Wand, Hood of Defiance, TP, Treads, Aqua. So not too much there. Meanwhile, on the Bounty Hunter, it's Guardian Greaves, No Talisman. That Staff of Wizardry... Observer Ward and TP, so they'll be looking towards a Dagon. Which will be interesting here. He's going to try and nuke him down, and it's only going to be Dagon 1. Meanwhile, on this da uh, Doom, it's going to be Radiance, Phase Boots, Salve, Calling Blade, Midas, and Stout Shield. So, really all the net worth here on Lyrical, and kind of second best is Marshall with that veil but he'll be working towards either an octarine core or nags next now pike gets finished for baroki and for the shadow fiend it is the full butterfly So now with the Asha is the Spectre, and under the radar, Spectre has gotten a bit of farm. And sits here in the fourth spot, third on our team, and with the Shadow Fiend Spectre Magnus, it's quite difficult with the RP to follow and the Haunt. The Radiance Bird coming in, Weiracle is here now to hit away this Spectre, who doesn't have much use of the Haunt. The ulti flies from Zeus, and Weiracle will clean up Spectre. Just as we're saying, she's getting a lot of farm. She has fallen quite a bit here, too. So, Miracle gets the kill and pushes this bottom lane. He's going to try and split push here. Asperger trying to get some vision. Overextender's not going to make their way towards the enemy side just yet. 
Oh, tracked up is Pogi. Now they know Asperger is nearby. He's actually going to miss the dust. But the Sentry Ward is there, so Asperger has to be careful. He thinks just because the dust flies, he's okay, but he will get popped here by the Shadow Fiend. Now a fight breaks out. The Veil is there from Marshall, but not much happening. The Weave on Baroki and CV Neo. Now the Doom comes out on Beast Broken. Lyrical cleaning up this Ancient Apparition, so two supports fall. And overextenders do find themselves a couple kills. So still a pretty close game here, and overextenders behind in kills up in net worth, and they're doing all right here. They're trying to bring this game ever so slightly into their favor more. Tower in this top lane, stopping a tier three siege, but Weirical and CB Neo will try to push more. Meanwhile, in this mid lane, it is Baroki just gonna fall. So it's RP used, and just for a Baroki Marana, it's pretty interesting. So Shadow Fiend nearby, Courier around along with CB Neo with that gem, and he'll just TP his way out. Not that much mana. He is pretty low. He does grab himself a demon edge, so... Do we see what we want to see? And that is the Divine Rapier. So here comes the Ag's ulti. Will hit on Sivaneo, so he'll have to back up. That's going to be a lot of damage taken. Definitely no heal coming his way. So Ag's picked up by Marshall. Going to do that much more damage with the ult. And that might help his team win these team fights a little bit more decisively. RP up. Magnus working towards what will most likely be a refresher. Here comes the Shadow Blade. But CB Neo does have a gem. You might see this coming. There's a lightning strike by Marshall, and they spot out ice in my veins. So if it is what we want, Lyrica would be about 500 gold away. So Moonlight Shadow used here. They will spot Ice in my veins. He'll get up the RP on three. And now here comes the Shadow Fiend channeling this ult. He will get three. The Guardian Greaves are popped. And now it looks like Shadow Fiend's the one in trouble. As they immediately pop Ice in my veins. Asperger goes down. Beast Brook goes down too. Everybody falling for the side of the Radiant. So only the Bounty and Doom fall here. But Doom splits into two. And he'll continue to be effective. As much as he can be. It won't be what we want, but it will be an MKB for Weirical. So now they find the Shadow Fiend once more, who did just buy back, and he should know from that courier that someone's on the way. Weirical with half health, he should just go in on this. He does have the MKB, the veil is used, and now the Shadow Fiend just goes out. Miracle going to continue to move forward here. Might still find the Shadow Fiend who is veiled up. And now he shows himself getting a couple hits here. A little MKB. Mini stun proc. And now Miracle <laughs> avoiding all three raises. Zeus ulti up in 20 seconds. Miracle will just back up here. And still no Roche taken this far in, but... Maybe we start to see that become a thing a little later on when they're pushing the high ground of these bases. 
surprising to see that Weirical hasn't taken it. There are wards here. So maybe he knows there's vision and can't take it quite yet. Or at least he expects it. Asperger will spot out ice in my veins. Track on an illusion. Take a look up top. We are going in a bit of trouble. The Mask Man is popped by ice in my veins. We are going to chill get out. No, the cleave. Ice in my veins clears, cleans up. We are going grabs himself a 1100 gold. Woo. Meanwhile, Shadow Fiend diving real far here. But will be okay for his troubles. So without Weirical for 80 seconds, he does have that buyback, but it doesn't look like the Radiant are going to attempt really that much. They're going to push down mid, but what they could really be going for is the first Roche. in my veins is here no rp available looking for that skewer and will miss so now marshall returns the favor four staffs himself forward the poison touch hits from beast brook and here comes the haunt so now they're starting to hit away here buyback from lyrical here comes the ice blast gonna be a little far cb neo getting low and specter grabs himself a kill so just like that, CB Neo is gone, and now it looks like Shadow Fiend in a bit of trouble. Weirical trying to do what he can to catch up. Two more seconds before he gets the move speed, but it won't be enough as the blink out is there. So Beastbrook gonna get a hit up here. Will he use the Shadow Grave on just himself? No, he won't. Here comes the E-Blade on Weirical. He's trying to run away, and here comes the ulti from the Shadow Fiend. The raises will hit once and the close raise will hit again so that's Weirical down for 110 seconds without that buyback now just huge trouble for the side of overextenders with their their carry down for 90 seconds A lot of pings come in the way of this ancient apparition. I have no idea why. Now, Spectre in a bit of trouble. Will get popped here by Baroki, but Baroki now in a bit of trouble. He's moving forward to try and avoid Ice in My Veins, who will get close on the score. Here comes the Cold Feed, and now the Doom on Ice in My Veins. CB Neo trying to do as much as he can with that Scorched Earth, and he will get Ice in My Veins pretty low, and then the Arrow will come from Baroki to finish off Ice in My Veins. Meanwhile, it is the Shadow Fiend taking top racks and a bunch of little towers so for their troubles of specter and magnus they lose their second set of racks and not really much over extenders can do they're just they're even in experience but we take a look at the net worth starting to go in the radiant direction and still no roche taken So Beastbrook working at Ancients. Trying to get himself some more gold here. Has enough for Guardian Grieve recipe. We'll see if that's what he wants to do. And trying to go with this Shadow Fiend, Butterfly, AC, E-Blade, Boots of Travel, Level 2, SNY, and Blink. This guy is six slotted and ready to fight. We're going to try and get some farm here. No buyback for four minutes, so what are you going for his next item with this mu this gold? Yeah, working at this first Roche is the Shadow Fiend. No vision on it from the side of Overextenders. Heart comes out on CB Neo and the Refresher Orb on Ice in My Veins. Roche and Aegis. 
up on Dazzle. Spectre would have been an optimal choice, but not being there causes uh, Beast Book to pick that up. So not exactly sure if that's the right choice. It seems to be a little bit of a lack of communication there. And I really think Spectre should have been there to pick up that Aegis. So we take a look over at Baroki. He's got himself Diffusal Level 2, Wand, Pipe, Maelstrom, Aqua, Treads, doing all right here. Marshall has 3,800 gold. Probably going to work on Buyback and an Octarine Core. And then over on Wiracle, 1,600 gold, but already with the same items. The BKB, which has only been used once. Daedalus, Desolator, MKB, Treads, Midas. So coming over is this Shadow Fiend, Blink Sane, Wiracle. Gonna attack. He takes it safe for right now. And looking for Mega Creeps is this Radiant side. So Shadow Blade is there. I see my veins does get spotted. He will skewer out. And now Simon Neo is here. Gets the Doom off on Beast Brook. Simon Neo will pay for his sins, but now a punch getting popped on the Radiant. It will be Ice in my veins falling, and now it's the buyback TP in. No, it won't be, as Miracle cleans up those creeps. Beast Brook going to be in a bit of trouble here. He will stay alive, but go down now to the Shuriken of Asperger. So four down on the side of the Radiant. So a fight just immediately turning around here. Overextender is doing a great job of getting the damage in. And now they've got some time to push for themselves. Using that buyback, it might be trouble if Shadow Fiend does find himself going down, and he is under ward vision right now. So Asperger has Dagon level 3. We'll be doing a bit of damage, maybe even able to clean up some supports here and Trying to catch up on farm here. Shadow Fiend is here. Not seen just yet. Starting to hit it way at Weeracle. Here comes the Ice Blast. He won't get out. He's popped. Now 100 seconds on the sideline for Weeracle. Back to this bottom lane is the Shadow Fiend. And he'll continue to push. Trying to get his team Mega Creeps. And everybody on the Radiant side is back up. So Observer Ward is here to see Shadow Fiend still with that buyback penalty. Asperger wants the kill on. Shadow Fiend gets the track, gets the Janata. Backs up now. Here comes the Veil. Marshall with a lot of damage to refresher. Uh, Marshall gets the kill on Shadow Fiend. He's dead for two minutes. Spectre comes in here with the Haunt, getting doomed up and won't be able to leave. And he's down for 80 seconds. <laughs> So two huge losses here for the Radiant side. Overextender is losing just a bounty in that exchange. Already down Wiracle. So now they really need to look for a way to clean up. Overextenders need to take advantage. Too far gone. So it's actually a refresher word picked up here by Zeus. Meanwhile, it looks like Wiracle will grab himself a kill on the Ancient Apparition. Down for a minute himself. So Wiracle moves forward. CB Neo, maybe to spot out Beast Brook here. He does have a gem, and now making his way over to this Magnus. He will blink his way out and be too far gone. So it's actually a refresher word picked up here by Zeus. Meanwhile, it looks like Wiracle will grab himself a kill on the Ancient Apparition. Down for a minute himself. So Wiracle moves forward. CB Neo, maybe to spot out Beast Brook here. He does have a gem, and now 
He's actually an RP used here by Ice in My Veins, trying to work on Weirical. Weirical starting to do a lot of damage. Here comes the Dagon and Asperger helping out Weirical to get this kill, and now they spot out these wards. And Beastbrook gonna have to find his way out, and luckily he has a blink to get out of there. So now Beastbrook is actually going to now fall to Asperger. He uses that shallow grave, but it really won't be enough here. With Oh, actually Blinks avoids it. Ghost Scepter used, trying to delay his death, and Marshall will get the kill. So 65 seconds on the sideline for him. Shadow Fiend pushing this wave all by himself. Maybe not the decision he wants to make. They've shown before that they could take out this Shadow Fiend and Spectre quite easily, and now they start to come around. The blink back from Shadow Fiend and Lyrical. 4,000 gold. He'll work towards his next item. Maybe Midas once more before selling it. He does have huge move speed here. He'll be looking to get himself a kill. He might find out the Spectre here. Moves forward, uses the skeleton walk, does see the specter, and sits for the time being. The map getting covered by scribbles. So now Lyrical shows himself, gets the bash on the specter, and whoa, clinks! He gets blown up! Doesn't realize that he's hurting himself with that blade, blade mail, and he kills himself. Thought he had the easy kill there on the Spectre, but this blade mail's been there for ages. So Weirical down for a minute, does have buyback. So Radiant gonna try and push this top lane as Shadow Fiend is trying to take the bottom. I'll try and get his team Mega Creeps. So there's the track. Baroki trying to clean up these creeps. Really, the Radiant side getting a little too cocky here. They're trying to... Try and be foolish, and now they're trying to move into the base through the trees. And they're down 10,000 gold, so a risky play, cocky, whatever you really want to call it. So here comes the blink in. Ice in my veins gets Weirical and Marshall. Here comes the, the weave. Weirical getting really low here. The ulti used for Marshall. Uses it twice. Grabs himself a dazzle. Meanwhile, CB Neo goes down. So does the Magnus. And now it looks like this is going to be the Spectre. Dying even with that Blade Mail. So buybacks from both CB Neo and the Magnus. Now they work away at this bottom lane of Rax in the tower. And Melee Rax goes down. Oh, he is here. Weirko looking towards getting this Shadow Fiend. Does pop. No, Pogi does. Oh, he does pop. It looked like he had disjointed that, but he will fall anyway. Sacred Relic once more here for Clinks. I don't really want to see it. Let's hope we get it. So now 
now Weiracle, CB Neo, and Asperger will push this mid lane. Most likely not to be contested here with no ulti for ice in my veins. The weave is there. Will hit all three in this mid lane, but Weiracle continuing to work. They destroy this mid tower. Weiracle looking for something. Does get hit by that E blade. Now the dagon comes out from Asperger. They're early shallow grave. Blast comes out. Not going to get... That... So a whiffed ulti there by the Shadow Fiend on nobody. And now Marshall's here. The Veil used on Beastbrook. He's going to be in a bit of trouble here. He's tracked up and Dagon will finish the deed. Moonlight Shadow is there. CB Neo does have Doom but does not use it. Now here comes the Spectre in on it. The BKB popped by Weiracle. Spectre getting low and down. It does take out the Bounty Hunter beforehand, but not really a big casualty here. And now it looks like Ice in My Veins is going to work at these Tier 4. He's going to try and run away here. He's going to work towards this mid lane or this bottom lane of Rax. And now they've got Mega Creeps. The Veil is there and popped like that is the Shadow Fiend. in my veins trying to move forward he walks right into cb neo and will doom him up right away and that will be another kill so he's down for two minutes and there it is all we've been waiting for the divine rapier coming out on Weiracle. so now with mega creeps pushing all three lanes it will be over extenders trying to clean up this game and finish it off they're gonna try and march right down mid Shadow Fiend TP's top. He's going to try and work this creep wave. Get those tier 4s and the Ancient faster than Overextenders can kill this entire base. They start working away at this tower. They do hit it down. It's the tier 3 dead already. Shadow Fiend still working in that top lane. CB Neo getting hit really low. Weiracle doing all he can. He's getting really low here. He might buy, drop the Divine Rapier. He's actually moving forward. They're going to skip the Rex. They're going to go for this tier 4. Now it's going to be a base race. It's actually Shadow Fiend going for it. And now the Ancient getting hit up here by the entire side of Oru Extenders. They're looking for it. It's the Ancient down to 3,000 health. It's hit up by that Desolator. They're going to bring it really low. Shadow Fiend not enough time here. And they will lose over Extenders. Take this game. So after all that, it's just the Shadow Fiend going for the kill. It should have been more than that. And Overextenders take the game. They skip the racks, go straight for the Tier 4s. The damage from the Divine Rapier of Weirico does get the kill on this Ancient. And Overextenders take the game. Whew. Man, a very amazing game here. Weirko, 19 and 9, gets that Divine Rapier. Mar Marshall, 14 and 8, doing really well. 33 assists. So, a great game overall. Back and forth. Overextenders taking it really late here. Had the net worth after about 45 minutes by 10,000 gold. And rating getting too cocky for their own good. And this will be Overextenders taking the win. So that's all from me here in this pubcast. Road to TI7. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at BCOP92. And if you want your game casted, email me at BCOPcasting at gmail.com or look me up on shoutcaster.com. I'm there. See you guys later.